Welcome, Lift Every Voice family. Derek Watkins here, and I am so excited to be sitting here with the V Bozeman. Maybe a new face to some of you. She's definitely not a new face to a lot of people, but we're excited to have her. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. Well, let's. So excited to be here. Let's start here. Okay. You, you from South Central. I am from South Central LA. Like 100%. 100% East Side Baby all day. Okay, so now, so I actually first was introduced to you and to your music through Monica Payne. Yes, my angel. Yeah, and um, how important would you say a team is? Because one of the things I've noticed just since you got on set, your team is like fully on you and making sure that everything is there that you need. Uh, my team is dynamic, absolutely dynamic. I would not trade my team for anything. You cannot do this without a team. Yeah. You can't. It, it won't happen. Good people around you is first, and that's priority. Have angels all around me. I'm covered. So many different people, I will say, got the, the, the brilliance of you as an artist. You know, you, we've, you've been, you know, Babyface has, you spent time there. You spent time with my good friend CeeLo. Yes. Uh, now, obviously, you know, Timberland situation signed there. During those moments, what was that like for you to have to digest and reboot every single time? You know what? It, when I look at it in hindsight now, it was a blessing. But then I was younger. And, um, you know, when you're young, you want to just get it. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah. But this industry, it teaches you to be patient. And it teaches you that you have to go through a process. I mean, when you really want to have a career, a sustaining career, I had to be cultivated. Mm -hmm. I had to be seasoned. Um, and I was just blessed to be, you know, under a baby face, to be under a CeeLo Green. The folks that do know you and know your music, when they saw you on Empire, the show on Fox, they probably had to, like, I gasped. I was like, oh, this is it. You know what <laughs> I mean? Like, I was so excited to see you there. People are rooting for you. Yeah, I feel it, too. Everywhere yeah. I go, um, they just love on me, and they are rooting for me. I, all the years that I've been preparing, um, it's really prepared me for this moment with Empire. I mean, this is a big production. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Priority it's, it's, big. <laughs> I'm talking like, this is like an artist's dream mm. to be presented to the world uh, on this platform, you know? It's true. And it's just now it's time that I, I use this platform, and I always say I don't let my platform use me, but I use it. Come so on. That's good. Now it's time for that... Uh, Big Bang. That's right. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, one of the first things that comes up for me is you're a performance artist. Like yes. performance art. Would you say that that's... Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I'm at home on stage. That's where I get to uh, connect with the people. Mm -hmm. I feel like if we're artists and we have the gift of song, which is a powerful gift to have from yeah. God. So yes. powerful. I take that very, very seriously. So if I feel like I can touch people's hearts and souls with the gift of song, I could do it best on stage. Yeah. So I, I just, that's my home. And that's where I get to see people's eyes and feel people and exchange vibrations. And um, that's what it's all about. Okay. Touching the hearts and the souls of the people, right? That's exactly through, what it's about. Through music. It's a universal language. It is. It is. Yeah. Don't move. More with V. Bozeman as soon as we get back. Don't touch the dial. V. Bozeman is not new to the music game. But she's quickly becoming an overnight sensation. And even when things weren't blazing brightly, she never gave up. You've been very vocal saying that with your music and with your artistry, there was never a plan B. Never. B. Bozeman has been an underground dynamo, but it didn't translate to quick hits and success. Her faith and belief in herself kept her going. Here's more of her story. Welcome back, family. Hanging out here live, Grammy weekend extraordinaire. It's party stuff happening in the background. <laughs> We're making it happen. Uh, so, Madam V. May, may I say Madam V? Oh, for sure. Okay. So, so I welcome that. You welcome that. <laughs> You've been very vocal saying that with your music and with your artistry, there was never a plan B. Never. 
Never a plan B. Never. <laughs> that's bold. I think that's a very bold statement. Mm -hmm. And I think that sometimes um, it's almost like people kind of straddle the, you know, what it is I really want yes. versus what's practical. At a very young age, I started singing in church, five years old, singing. Um, I never saw myself as anything else. Ever since I was five, I knew that I was supposed to be doing this. Mm -hmm. I knew what my destiny was, can nobody tell me nothing. Till this day, um, nothing deferred me from that. I've been through so many trials, tribulations, and I've gotten tired, I've, I've gotten weary, but I always knew that I am supposed to sing to touch the hearts of the people. Mm -hmm. That is what I'm supposed to do. Mm -hmm. So when you know God has ordained you to do something, you do it. That's good. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That's nothing to play with. I, I, take, I take this very, very seriously. And, um, you know, I know that God blesses us with so many gifts, but when we realize exactly what we're here to do on this earth, mm -hmm. I think you better take it up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. that's what I mean. There was this, There's not a plan B. Right. I'm in the greatness, mm -hmm. his greatness that he gave me. I'm Amen. gonna use it, you Amen. know? Yeah. What's so good about music now um, that was absent for a while to me is the feeling in yeah. music again. Yeah. That's the thing that me and Timberland have in common. Like, we want to bring the feeling back into music. So when I turn on the radio, I don't want to hear computers and synthesizers. Yeah. I want to feel people's feel yeah. souls. Yeah. That's the only way you're going to connect with, you know, the masses. So when I say that, that's what I mean, putting the feeling back into music so it can affect people. So it can be like, wow, like I felt chills. Right. You know, let yeah. people stop and listen to the music and listen to the lyrics yeah. and let that power resonate all over. And then you will start seeing change and different energies and things of that nature, you know, because, mm -hmm. you know, it wasn't a balance for so long. But I now agree. it's starting to change yeah. and the balance is coming. And it's just so um, necessary. Mm -hmm. It's necessary because people aren't getting nurtured by by music mm -hmm. not yeah. like it used to be no I, you know no, what I'm I saying agree. yeah it's like almost like the soul was absent yeah it was, it was absent how could you listen to music without it the soul yeah a computer can't feed your yeah. your, your yeah. soul yeah. <laughs> I hope that blesses you this has been Lift Every Voice. V. Bozeman, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much for having me. Thanks so much for being here. You just made South Central real happy. <laughs> we love you, and let's keep her prayed up. This is one of ours.